Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I recently became debt-free and are now working towards saving up six months worth of expenses for a fully funded emergency fund. We use a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing methods to stay on track because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. All right, you guys, well, I recently switched out my money bag because the Poppy money bags just got delivered a couple of days ago and there are some really fun improvements to the bag that I wanna show you. So when you first look at the bag, it looks exactly the same and that's because the outside is exactly the same. But an improvement that I wanted to make was actually on the inside of the bag, whereas before, I don't even know what kind of material it was, but I switched it to a cloth material just because I think it feels and looks a lot nicer. So both in the big pouch and the smaller pouch is more of like a cloth material. So the black will be restocking. We have more steel. I don't have that one here, but then I did add a new color, which is this beautiful beige camel color. So I'm hoping that this is doing it justice. I doubt that it is, but I just loved the way that the gold accented this like beautiful beige. So this color will be new and will be included in the restock. As far as the date for the restock, I have not announced that yet, but I will announce it at some point. I honestly probably won't be a part of any like big restock. I will just restock them on the website. I have ordered so many that I am 0% worried about them selling out. So I just wanted to make sure I let you guys know about this. And then also, let's get to cash stuffing. So this week I will be cash stuffing a total of $1,670 into our sinking funds and savings challenges. So as always, we will get started with our wallet. And last week I did switch back to my chic wallet because I think when the seasons change, I just like need change myself or like something different. So I'm gonna start by taking out my receipts which I will scan into my Fetch Rewards app. And if you're new to the channel, Fetch Rewards is an app, it's like a rewards app where you scan in your receipts and then those receipts turn into points and you can redeem those points for gift cards. So I'll leave my referral code up on the screen in case you wanna check it out. We both get bonus points when you scan in your first receipt. So it's kind of a win-win. Um, I am not going to put these into my coin container right now because it's actually holding like I, it's holding my camera stand down so that it doesn't tip over. So I'm just gonna set those to the side. And I'm not gonna lie, my wallet is a complete mess. So I will tell you why. My copays envelope is pretty depleted. I only have $40 left in here. And the reason is because I got a fill yesterday for my nails. And every once in a while, I get this really convicting feeling that I need to do something for someone else. And there's no rhyme or reason to it, but I truly believe it's the Lord nudging me in a certain direction. And I think that's why my passion and our huge goal for both Chris and I is to build wealth so that we can be incredibly generous to other people. So that when I do get those like gut feelings and I'm hearing from the Lord, I want to be able to act on that and have the money to do so. So I'll tell you the story about what happened yesterday. I am gonna take these out because these need to go back into my high priority binder. So we'll just set those aside. But basically I was getting my nails filled and this adorable woman sat to the left of me, a couple chairs down. There was only a few people in the salon. It was like mid afternoon and she was just adorable. She was probably in her like mid, maybe early to mid eighties. And I just like had a heart for her and I don't know how to explain it, but I just like, I could tell she didn't get her nails done very often and she was getting a full set. And I don't know, it like got me thinking like, I wonder why she's getting her nails done. And um, you know, like I wonder what's going on in her life. And I just felt this urge to pay for her nails. And so I was like, okay, I told myself, if I have the, if I have enough cash in my wallet, like all of my envelopes combined, if I have enough cash in my wallet, I'm gonna pay for her nails. I go to pay. And I opened my wallet and I had both of these envelopes in there because I had gone to the chiropractor um, for a couple adjustments to take care of my headaches, which I'm feeling so much better. But I had my co-pays envelope and I had a hundred dollar bill in there. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's my sign. Like that, like I have to do this. And I always like it to be a secret and kind of anonymous. And so at my nail salon, they have these like pieces of paper up by like where you check out. I mean, and it's like this tiny counter. So it's like, there's not much space up there, but I grabbed a piece of paper and I wrote on it for my nail tech. I was like, I wanna pay for that lady's nails over there. 
she read it and she was like, okay. So she went and talked to the other nail tech to find out how much it was. And then she told me the total for both. And so I just paid for it and then I left and I was like, oh my gosh, like that is my high. Like that is what keeps me motivated to continue to do my cash stuffing, to continue to be diligent when it's really hard to be diligent. Like today, all I want to do is get to the shop to pack orders. And I'm like, nope, I have to do my cash stuffing. Like I cannot skip my cash stuffing. That is why <laughs> this envelope is almost completely depleted. But I also want to challenge each of you guys, like whether it's $5 or $1 or $50 or whatever, I challenge you to go out today or tomorrow or sometime this week and just Find someone that you can bless, just one person that you can bless because it is going to just completely transform your day and it gets really addicting <laughs> to do that. So that being said, let's go ahead and unstuff my wallet. Other than this, I did not do a ton of spending this week. So a lot of this is going to get rolled over. Um, like, look at this. Go me. My own personal spending cash. We're going to stuff that into our savings challenges. Eating out. I think we did spend it out of our binder that we share, but um, we did, I did not spend it out of my wallet. So I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep this in here. So normally Chris and I really don't do a lot of like, we don't drink a lot of adult beverages like on a regular basis, but <laughs> with the way our house is set up it's very much set up for hosting and so we have had a lot of people over lately and we just like to make sure our fridge is stocked with different things and so we have been spending a little bit more on adult beverages not necessarily for us but just for hospitality purposes so i'm gonna leave that in there i did spend all the money out of kids my nails envelope and self-care envelope completely depleted and then steph and i did get food for lunch yesterday so um i took five dollars out of kindness to pay for that so that being said, let's go ahead and stuff my wallet for the week. And I am going to be looking at my cash planning page. The, this like ripped off, but it's okay. This is what I'm looking at off camera just so I can know which denominations I'll be stuffing. So I'm just going to roll groceries over my own personal spending cash. I think I said this last week. I really need to clean my envelopes. And somebody commented and asked how to clean them. So I like to use fingernail polish remover. I just use the Target brand, put a little bit of that on like a cotton round. And then you just gently like, it'll take off all of these little black marks that get on the envelopes. So I haven't really had a chance to go through and reply to comments, but I will at some point, but just so that question is answered, that's how I like to clean my envelopes. So eating out, I'm going to roll over. That still has 20 drinks. I budgeted 40 I'm not going to lie. My husband usually goes and picks things up and we're pretty stocked up right now. So I'm just going to leave the 10 in my wallet. Let's see for kids. I'm going to do a 10, which is what I normally do. This is their yes envelope. So when we're out and about, if they ask for something and I say yes, that's the money I'll use for it. And then, okay, I did stuff enough or budget enough to stuff my kindness and miscellaneous envelope this week. This is like such a floppy five. Somebody said that they it bothers them how much I complain about floppy bills, but it's just who I am as a person, and I can't apologize for it. I do realize, though, that money spends the same, whether it's crispy or floppy. <laughs> All right, that is it for my wallet for the week. Next, we're going to jump into our high-priority our high priority binder and it's I don't it's not me complaining about the bills it's just me commenting on them <laughs> it's more what it is okay so for groceries this week I did budget a 20 for groceries okay so now for groceries we have 20 40 60 80 85 90 and this is just for little things we need to go get during the week I do a majority of my grocery shopping online so we leave that money in our checking account and if you're new to the channel, the reason I grocery shop online is to A, save time, and then B, stay within my budget. It really helps me to stay within my budget when I can see my total before I check out. So $60 in fresh beef and pork, and this is saving up for when we get our next half cow and half pig, which we get from local farmers. Clothing is going to be getting 20, and I did do a little bit of an unstuffing just to replenish our buffer in our checking account. I just did it off camera this time, but I'll do an unstuffing, not probably next week, but the week after and I'll film it. 
So 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 400, 10, 20, 25, 30. So $430. Beauty is getting a 10. So now it has 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 210. Beauty is for any anything we might need to like take care of ourselves. Pet care is getting 30. This is for anything for our dogs. So 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200. So dog food, grooming, new toys, chickens is getting 30. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150. And I'll put a clip up because I literally just filmed it because Chris um, went and picked up pavers because we're going to start putting the chicken coop together. And so he was out there on his skid loader making all sorts of noise right before I started filming. So um, I'm just like, I love that man. He is so good to me. I was all like, I can set the chicken coop up myself. And then I'm like, but I might need your help getting the pavers and the gravel and the sand and blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> he's out there doing it for me right now. Anyway, so I need to take these out because we did have a surprise bill pop up that was literally like $1,490 something dollars. So I'm going to take these two out. We do keep our medical money in our savings account. So I just paid for it like online. So I don't need to unstuff anything. But we do need to start building this back up again. It hurt really bad having to take that money out and pay that bill. But uh, now we have 100, 152, 250, 300. We'll just get cracking on it again. Basically what happened is when we uh, switched insurance, we, have, we pay for private insurance because we're both self-employed and tax prep is getting 50. Uh, we... What was I trying to say? Oh, um, when we got on a different insurance plan, health insurance plan, because we're self-employed, it was the same insurance company, but a different plan. So the pediatric clinic that I've taken my kids to since they were born, all, all of a sudden became out of network, but I didn't know that. I didn't know that's how it worked. So all of the appointments I've taken them to in the last year and a half were not covered by insurance. So I finally got it all figured out and kind of realized that I was screwed. So I had to pay that hundred, so 150 or 1,490 something dollars is what I owed the peds clinic. And because insurance really didn't pay for much. Anyway, tax prep now has 1,000, 15, 16, 16, 50, 17, 17, 50, 1800 dollars in tax prep. We did get our bill for that. <laughs> I'm glad I saved up. I'll just say that. And then memberships is getting a five. So 120, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 165 in memberships. And as much as it hurts having to pay that bill, you live and you learn. But I'm just, again, so grateful that we cash stuff and that we were planning ahead in that way without even knowing it. Okay, so eating out, we're going to put the entire 40 into this envelope. So now we have 60. Drinks, I think I budgeted 40 and so we're going to put all of that into this envelope since I didn't put anything into my wallet. Um, I already stuffed my personal spending money, I think. Yeah, I think I did. Chris gets 25 as well. So now he has 20, 40, 60, 65. Date night, I'm doing 40. So I think I talked about this last week, but we are going to see a comedian this weekend. And I was supposed to go with some girlfriends, <laughs> which I won't name drop, but everyone bailed on me. So I know it's me and Chris going 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. And so it kind of turned into a date night. So I wanted to put just a little bit more in here. We're going to go out to eat beforehand. And then I don't know if they'll have drinks or what. Um, oh, shoot. Family fun is not getting stuffed. But either way, it's going to be so much fun. 
Chris was like, gee, thanks for making me like your fifth option. I was like, that's not, that's not true. Gifts is getting 20. So I did pull out of here. I had some online transactions for gifts and then I did get my son's teacher a gift because she's having a baby next month. So $90 is what we have in gifts right now. Hockey rink is getting skipped. Travel is getting five. So 20, 40, 45. But thank God for my mother-in-law. She's going to watch all the kids. I think they might all have a sleepover too. I'm not even sure. Canning is getting 20. I did pull out because, um, like all of the cash out of here because I got some jars um, online that were on sale. So farmer's market is getting a 10. We're just about getting to farmer's market season. So I want to make sure I have plenty to go once my town starts having their farmer's market again. Minnesota. Miscellaneous is getting 20, so 10 because I put two fives in my wallet and then a 10. So 110, 20, 25. And then we'll start stuffing horses probably later this summer. It's not going to be until probably next summer that we get horses or next year sometime. So we've got time for that. All right. Now it's the kids sinking funds. So kids clothing is getting a 20. So now we have 100, 20, 40, 60. School expenses is getting 10. So now we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. Back to school is getting a 20. Now we have 500, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 640. Birthday parties, it's getting a 20. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85 dollars. Our next birthday party is not until October. So I've got some time to get that envelope built back up. Hockey is gonna get 10 dollars. So now we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, $125 in hockey. Gymnastics is getting skipped. So Rowan's last session for this like round is next week. And then she wants to take a little bit of a break for the summer, which is totally fine. So Liam, all the kids are going to get their $5. So they did also get $10 in an Easter egg hunt that grandma did for them. So I'm gonna add that into their envelope and then also add another five. So 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, $55 for Liam. He is our nine year old. Eli needed a new scooter. And so I did pull some money out of here for his scooter, but, um, and then I pulled some money out of kids miscellaneous or I don't remember where I pulled it from. But I didn't want to pull all of his money for the scooter since it's not really his fault that it got ruined. <laughs> um, Chris accidentally backed over it with the skid loader. So 100, oh my gosh, 10, 15, 20, 25, $30 for Eli. Those scooters are expensive though. And I don't even buy like the nice name brand ones. I just buy like decent quality ones because our kids ride them all day, every day. But 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. I did take the girls to Target and told them that they, it was like a little girl date, that they could pick out a toy. So Rowan picked out, I don't even like this hamster toy thing, that was $25. And then Bristol picked out a new baby doll, which was 20. So some of their cash got spent. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 dollars for Bristol. And I am gonna take her to the zoo. I'm gonna pull her out of daycare. Because miscellaneous is going to get 20. Probably next week or the week after. And like do a day with her at the zoo. So we'll use that money for that. 50, 70, 80, and 90. The other three kids got to go to the zoo over spring break. So I figured Bristol deserved to go too. It can be like a mommy Bristol type date. Next is our home binder. I keep forgetting to put my dashboards in here. Household. I got to flip my page here. Is getting 15. 
This one got pretty depleted. It has 35 when I did my unstuffing. Seasonal lawn care is getting a 20. So now we have 500, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 640, $650 in seasonal lawn care. We have a lot more lawn to take care of now. So organizing is getting 10. This one was also depleted when I did my unstuffing. Home was also depleted. I don't think I'm stuffing. Yes, I am. $10 in home. So now we have 15. Freeze dryer is getting 100. So now we have 500, 600, 7, 8, 9, $1,000 in freeze dryer. So now we can swap out that placeholder for a 1K when we do our renovations is getting skipped. When we do our cash convincing. Pool is getting 100. So now we have 300. It's supposed to be in the 70s this weekend. I'm so excited. Garden is getting 50. So that's 150. And then seasonal decor is getting skipped. So speaking of garden, we are just about ready to prepare the area for my garden. And um, something really cool we found out this summer, we were talking to my uncle over Labor Day and my dad um, passed away September of 2020 from stage four cancer. And he had um, several tractors. I mean, not several, but he had like three or four of them, I think. And so a couple of them, one of them was sold. I don't know what happened. I think the other one my uncle took. And then there's two other tractors. And so they're at my grandpa's house and Valentine's Day is getting five. And over Labor Day, my uncle was saying like, these tractors are yours. Like you can decide what you want to do with them because like my mom said she didn't want them um, or I didn't really have a, a need for them. 50, 55, 60, 65. And so it was just really cool because Liam, our nine-year-old, that's his favorite memories with his papa. He, he was five when my dad died and they were extremely close. They were very, very close. And um, so $60 in Easter and that tractor that we're going to take was the tractor that my dad gave him rides on a lot. So it's really cool because it's sentimental, but also like really special that we can put that tractor to use and just kind of have a piece of my dad here at the farm. So I stuffing that garden envelope made me remember I need to call my uncle and make sure it's okay if we come get that tractor soon so that we can use it to till the space for the garden. So Mother's Day has 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, $300 in Mother's Day. I think we're getting to the point where we could maybe slow down with that envelope. Um, Father's Day is getting a 10. <gasps> what did I do? What did I do? I messed something up. All right, well, sorry, Chris. You don't get Father's Day. It does not get stuffed <laughs> this week. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I probably double stuffed an envelope or something. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to put these in my, we're just a hot mess over here. Go pays in help. Oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't plan for these anyway. We'll put those in my binder here in a minute. Okay. Focus, Emily. Fourth uh, of July is getting 20. I'm short like quite a few tens. What's going on here? Am I looking at the wrong? No. I'm short like two tens. Weird. I'll have to figure that out. Oh, well. Okay. Um, or maybe you guys caught it. I don't know. Oh, did I stuff 4th of July? See, now I'm getting distracted. 200, 205. I don't know. Did I stuff this in here? Let's do this. I'm going to mark 4th of July on my sheet. And then if we have extra money, we'll come back and we'll stuff the ones I'm missing. So Father's Day was another one. It's fine. We'll stuff the ones we can for now. <sighs> Halloween is getting five. So now we have 100, 150, 160, 65, 70, 75. See, that's what happens when I tell like long elaborate stories. I get like, I like stop paying attention to what I'm doing with my hands. Thanksgiving is getting a five. Did I? Oh yeah. 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95 in Thanksgiving. 
I wrote them out of order. So Black Friday is supposed to get 15. Oh my gosh, this is so messed up. What's going on? Well, I guess we'll give it a five. 100, 150, 170, 75, 180. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna have a lot of 20s left over though. So Christmas is getting its usual 50. So 500, 6, 7, 800. 859, 920, 930. And then New Year's Eve needs a five, but I don't have one. And then seasons remains fully funded. Okay. So let's get these other envelopes put away really quick. And then we'll do savings challenges. Also, before I forget again, I do have some happy mail to open. So I'm gonna do that at the end. So make sure you stick around. Okay, so this is my rollover savings challenge. So the $1 savings challenge, let's see what we have here. Two ones. This needs to get condensed. She's getting pretty full. I say this a lot, but I need to like find a really fun container to just keep all the ones in. Although that would be a lot to count <laughs> at the end of the year. We do have one five to add. I did get my shipment of these clear envelopes in, so those will get added to the shop with the next product drop, which has not been scheduled yet, but you guys will know. We're just finishing up orders from sale day. Mystery grab big sale and imperfect binder sale. So we should be finished packing those up today. We made a, a lot of progress yesterday. So, and by we, I mean Stephanie and I. <laughs> and then 120 to add. And then I think at the end of the month, I will add any leftover money Chris has too. I'll ask him if he wants to put it in his wallet. Sometimes he's like, yeah, I'll take it. And sometimes he's like, no, I don't really need it. So we will cross that bridge when we get there. See what he wants to do. All right, January, February, and March are all done. And then April, we're going to do the third week of April, which is $150. So, and since I do condense this, I'll just count it every week because it's fun. So 100, 2, 3, 4, 500, 550, 570, $580 so far for the month of April. All right, that was our 10K. Now we're going to do the 5K challenge and we'll start with April. And last week I forgot to color in my little circle here. So I'm gonna just do it for both. So 70, 75, I don't have, I don't have the five though. Like I don't understand how I messed up that bad, but it's okay. It will be okay. I'll have to try to remember that for next week to add that five. Okay, and then, see, this is another, here, we'll just do this. So I'm supposed to have 110, wait, oh no, 190. So I'm doing both of these. So, but I'm all out of 50s. This is so weird. It's probably obvious to you guys. And I have hundreds left over. Am I looking? I feel like I'm not looking at the right sheet. Like, I feel like I just cash stuffed off the wrong sheet. That's what it feels like right now. Oh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's so weird. So we'll do, it's supposed to be 190. So we'll just do 200. And then that'll cover the other five for sure. So with this 5K, since I started it at the beginning of April, I'm just kind of playing catch up with these other months. Oh, I just did it again with this marker. 
I need to like wait for it to dry a little bit more, I think. But so next month or like next week, I'll just start with February and we'll just kind of keep working our way through until we get caught up. And then I'll probably start another savings challenge. Okay, so we have a lot of money left over. One, okay, this is ridiculous. 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 220. So we have 220 dollars left over. That is so strange. I'm gonna look at my cash planning sheet because I feel like I messed up somewhere. But let's put this somewhere since we have it. Um, I can fix this. Okay, so oh, Fourth of July was supposed to get 20. So whether or not I did that, let's just stuff another 20 in here because you can never have too much money for fireworks. Let's get this put up here. All right. So 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 225. Even if I, if I forgot it, then now we're where we're supposed to be. And if I didn't forget it, then... Now we have extra. So let's stuff 20 in Father's Day. Don't forget to put some ideas for Chris for Father's Day in the comments. I already have some good ideas from you guys, but I'm always looking for more ideas because his birthday is also in May. So 100, 20, 40, 50, 60. So $160 in Father's Day. Um, you know what I've been wanting to do? So for Christmas... We have like a weird amount. I want to make this an even amount so when I condense, because we have like another like year to condense this. I'm going to add a 20 into here as well so that it, now it's an even 50. So 500, 600, 700, 800, 859. So 950. I'm going to do that there. And then I think I would like to. I think I'm going to put the other 100 in pool just because it's so new to us and I don't know how much pools are to like maintain. So then that way we'll have $400 in pool. At least I'm filming this. So if this is like so messed up and I can go back and fix it, I can just go back and fix it by watching the footage. Another thing that I wanted to add more money to was gifts with Chris's birthday coming up. What do we have left in here? I'm gonna do two 20s in gifts. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 130. I'm like, oh, maybe that's where I messed up. And then I'm like, no, I don't think I did. I'm like, did I stuff all my savings challenges correctly? It's fine, I'll just figure it out later. And then medical, I'm gonna add more into here. So 100, 152, 253, $320 in medical. Let's just start getting that back up. Our goal is like 3,000, I think is our deductible. But anyway, okay, well, thank you so much for hanging out with me in this hot mess of the cash stuffing. It's been a while since I've had this much of a hot mess happen, but it does happen and it's okay. And the best thing is that I did it. I did my cash stuffing for the week. We can salvage any problems later, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it blessed you in some way, and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Hold on a second. I'm back. <laughs> I forgot I have some things to unbox. Okay, so this first thing that I got in the mail, I got it, I mean, a while ago. I just keep forgetting to do like unboxings and like opening things up. So this comes from Dallas, and... I'm not sure exactly what it is, but she is a longtime customer. I love talking to her. Oh, it says healing thoughts. Dear Emily, you are such a doll. My heart broke for you when I heard your sweet dog passed away. I'm definitely keeping you and your family in my prayers. Also, what? You bought a new home. Super excited for you all. Keep us posted on all the things. You deserve all the happiness in the world. You do so much for others. And it's obviously how you truly care for everyone around you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for making saving money so fun. You are changing lives. Love you, girly. P.S. Although I'm not sure which sweet pup gained his wings, just know that little dog hair I found of Bo's is still floating around my car. <laughs> okay, so Dallas has been 
again, just like with me since the beginning. It's just been so fun getting to know her. But when I had mentioned that I was discontinuing the clear money bags, she messaged me and asked if she could get a couple. And so I sent them to her and she emailed me a picture because one of Bo, so Bo is our biggest German shepherd. Both of our shepherds have really long hair and one bow hair ended up inside of her money pouch somehow which was like my worst nightmare but it happened and thank god it happened to dallas because she thought it was hilarious but so she was just telling me that bow's dog hair is still floating around in her car it's so special thank you so much dallas this means the absolute world to me and again i have a drawer you guys at the shop where i keep all of the cards you send me so thank you again dallas okay so i did already open this i'm not gonna lie i was just so excited uh, because it's from Lux Designs, my friend Rachel at Lux Designs, and I didn't order anything, so I'm like, what did she send me? And it actually sat at my house for a little while because it was sent to the old house because obviously she didn't have my new address, but I retrieved it, and I want to show you guys what's in here because it was so cute and so thoughtful, and I love, love, love her packaging. I feel like, let's do it like this. So I'll read you the note she sent. So she said, hey, Emily, I saw you were trying to get six months ahead and wanted to send you my new set. Thought they would look great in your A5 binder. Also included a few things for your babies, Rachel. So Rachel is so good to my kids. She's always sending my kids cute little surprises. And she came to my rescue when I needed a couple extra ideas for like stocking stuffers. And so she ended up making my kids some really beautiful acrylic keychains that were like right along with their personality. So Liam's had like a wild logo. Rowan's had like a sparkly unicorn and oh, she just, you guys have to check her shop out. She's on Instagram and she's on YouTube. So I'll link all of that in the description, but look at these pens. These are so stinking cute. So Spider-Man pen, pens for the boys. I love these. These remind me of my childhood. And then these cute, I don't, these are called something. I don't remember what they are, but they're like little buddies. They're so cute. They're gonna be so excited. And then, oh my gosh, are these little erasers? These are so stinking cute. So Rowan is probably gonna snag both of these because she's like super into this kind of stuff. Okay, so this is so cute. Like I said, I've already looked at this. And I will be putting, I don't have a binder up here with me right now. I think they're both in my car. But, so these fit in an A5 and they're forgetting ahead so month one tracker and then here's month one and then there's like a little pocket here so you can put your cash in there or however you want to store your cash but you can have a tracker so you're adding I'll go like this so you can see it better um, so that you can add like the date the description plus or minus and then the amount it's kind of like an expense tracker and then month two and I think it's six months month three so they're frosted month four month five and month six like how stinking cute so i'll set these up in a binder and show them to you guys next week so you can see what they look like in a binder but these are i love rachel's stuff because it's totally my vibe <laughs> so thank you so much rachel from lux designs for kindly gifting me with this beautiful six months ahead and i love that it's six months because that's exactly what our goal is like you are so thoughtful so definitely check out rachel's shop lux designs she's got a lot of different things like she's so gifted when it comes to creativity and she has cash stuffing things but she has a bunch of other stuff too so definitely go check her out support small businesses but i'm actually leaving this time so <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope my video blessed you in some way and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Have a great week, you guys.